In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Wilson X Macro Grip Module. A little over a year ago, we first reviewed the first Wilson Combat 365 grip modules for the Micro X and XL versions that we have linked to below. The popularity of the 365, which currently is one of, if not the most popular handguns in America today, is remarkable. And as we have seen with the growth from the micro to the recent macro models, also shows the versatility of the platform, which started as a pocket pistol and now rivals some tactical handguns in overall capacity with 17 round macro magazines. As you may have seen in my previous 365 videos, I'm a big fan of this platform and currently consider the P365XL, which I have here on the table, to be my favorite all around pistol for both carry and light tactical use. The XL has always been about the perfect size for my average size hands. With the addition of the mag guts plus two conversion kit, I can now carry the XL with 14 rounds, which for its size and performance really is hard to beat. But some people with larger hands still find the XL to be a little bit too small. One of the other great parts of the 365 platform is much like Glock magazines, the 365 magazines will work in all versions of the 365 with length being the only limiter. For me, this means that all of my extra magazines now are the 17 round macro magazines that I can run in everything from the micro to the macro version. Now you can buy the SIG macro pistols with and without compensators. But because the 365 platform is so interchangeable, you can also easily place your existing Micro X and even XL fire control unit and slide on an X Macro grip module. You can buy these 17 round magazines and then you have the benefit of a larger grip and 17 round magazine on the slide that you prefer. That is where Wilson Combat comes in. Wilson has been making these upgraded grip modules for years, starting out with making what I consider to be the absolute no-brainer upgrade for the SIG 3 P320 platform, which you can see here. So when they came out with the 365 platform a little over a year ago, many people took notice. As I discussed in my previous videos, I personally like the Wilson grip module as much as I do the stock XL version and I'm comfortable with both. But when SIG released the stock X macro grip module, I was not as excited about it as some other people have been. The stock X macro grip module looks very similar to previous versions, but there are some subtle differences. And for me, it makes it a little less comfortable to fire compared to, for example, an XL module. One of the major differences was the addition of a sliding backstrap, which basically comes with three different backstraps and a grip that is slightly larger and more blocky than the XL version, which personally does not feel as good in my hand recoiling, for example, as the X and XL versions. That is why I eagerly awaited this new Wilson version, which I was hoping would address my previous issues with the stock versions, and it has. So when you order these modules, and they come in a bag with, of course, your type of swag here, and you have different color combinations, you have to first off install the mag release, which is included in the kit. Then you need to pop out the fire control unit within your SIG and install it in the new grip module, which really only takes a minute to do, and I'll demonstrate. So in this case, I have a X macro stock version. And again, you can do this, by the way, with your micros as well as your X and XL slides as well. Whichever you prefer, you can put these on different platforms. In this case, all my guns have been safety checked. All you have to do is slide off the frame. And there's a little pin in the back. And all you have to do is push out the pin and then remove the fire control unit. And this then you can discard the stock X macro frame and install it on the new SIG frame. So in this case, I reinsert the pin. And 
install the slide. And that's as, how easy it really is to convert from your stock to your new SIG grip module. Now let's take a closer look at the main differences between the Wilson and the stock grip modules to help determine which one might be best for you. Looking at the two side by side, the first thing you're gonna notice is the grips, although about the same length, the textures are significantly different as well as the diameter of the grip is a little bit different and the contours are different as well. The first thing, if you're familiar with the Wilson grip modules, you'll, you'll notice that they're known for having very aggressive stippling on both the front strap and the back strap. And they also include a Wilson starburst pattern on the side panels, which to some people can be too aggressive for people that like to carry this up against their skin. So just keep that in mind. The side panels are also well, much more rounded than you would typically see, especially on a stock grip. And they're a bit wider and the width between the straps is also a bit longer, which is why people with larger hands tend to prefer the Wilson grips over the stock ones. Wilson also bevels and flares out their magwells for better reloading compared to, for example, the stock grips. Now these Wilson grip modules were initially released without manual safety cuts. And one of the things you might be doing is looking at this and saying, well, wait a second, you got a manual safety on there which I'm sure they will be adding shortly as they've done with their previous grips. Now this has really never been a problem for me because I can easily cut these notches into the frame with the Dremel tool and file, which is what I did here. And you can see I've done that here as well. And if you look closely, you're also gonna notice on the Wilson grip module, the molded indentations already exist for the safety lever on the frame. So really all I had to do in this case was just to cut a notch to accommodate the manual safety. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can simply wait until Wilson releases the new manual safety versions. If you watched my previous 365 videos, you'll also know why I really like the manual safety on these 365 and for many reasons, and typically recommend these to others whether or not you plan to use them. Now let's compare the X macro grip, for example, to the XL grip, since there are some differences between the two. They didn't just extend the grip, but you'll notice there's some differences here. The first thing has to do with the rail system. They included now a full length 1913 rails in the front. And you can also see when you put these side by side, the longer length of the macro frame, obviously to accommodate the larger magazine, but you're also gonna notice the width differences here. And even though it might seem subtle, The, this is a considerable difference between the XL and I've had some people that have fired and liked their XLs and X versions and found this to be a little bit more uncomfortable because the width is a little bit different, not only from the web, but all the way down into the grip frame. Another subtle difference you're gonna notice here too is if you look closely, there's kind of a ridge here. There's a ridge along the side panels that goes all the way up into the webbing area where your hand and knuckles would contact the grip. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, one of the things you, you might wanna consider doing is sanding down these areas here that contact into the web of your hand to kind of smooth them out, similar to what you're, you're seeing with the other type of grip modules, if those are uncomfortable for you. So based on my own experience, why do I think that people would prefer the X macro grip module over the stock grip module or the XL? Well, first off, as previously mentioned, people with larger hands tend to prefer these grips over the stock versions. Second, if you wanna shoot your P365 more tactically, these really are better designed for that purpose by providing better control surfaces and contours. Third, some people wanna carry 17 rounds in their handguns. Even though the added grip length increases the amount of printing that takes place when you carry a gun. But some people just don't care. They would rather have all 17 rounds when they're carrying their handgun, especially if they're not carrying any additional magazines with them. As for me, the XL frame is a perfect balance of carry, control, and capacity, especially with the mag guts 
kit that allows me to carry 14 in the frame and then extra 17 round mags, which I can use when I need them as backups. But when I plan to shoot my P365 tactically, I would prefer to use the X macro frame with my XL slide, especially over the stock option, which will now go into a box somewhere where I keep other parts that I'm not overly fond of. So congrats to Wilson Combat for making yet another great innovation for the popular and ever expanding P365 line of pistols. And if you get a chance to pick one of these up, I highly recommend them. Just don't forget to buy these 17 round magazines to go along with them, which if you own a P365 now, you should buy a few of these anyways as your backup magazines. All of these you can order now on the SIG and Wilson websites. If you like this video or like this channel, please subscribe on YouTube and thanks for watching.